Some firemen are being accused of a number of issues, including denigrating the, the name, mocking a young girl who had been killed by police. Let's catch you up on the details of what we're talking about right here. It involves the Briarcliff Volunteer Fire Company in Pennsylvania. Some of their members were suspended for 30 days after members allegedly made racist comments about other firefighters, as well as a mock, uh, mocking Fanta Ability, an eight year old girl who authorities say died at the hands of three police officers last year outside a high school football game near Philadelphia. Here are the police officers who uh, shot this again, eight year old girl. They apparently heard gunshots and fired in the direction of where they thought they might be coming from and hit her and killed her. That is not how guns are supposed to be used, just randomly firing back at what you think might be happening. But cops do it and it claims lives and uh, Fonta died as a result of that. Well, now fast forward to this situation. There was another local fire company called Goodwill that revealed uh, the alleged comments that were made uh, by the Briarcliff volunteers. Uh, in a letter to the Darby Township Board of Commissioners released earlier this week. According to the letter, the remarks allegedly occurred just a couple of weeks ago after a virtual meeting about a fire survey between Briarcliff and other local fire companies, which included Goodwill. That's how they got access to this information. So there was a Zoom call and then eventually the Zoom call ended. But some people stayed on after the meeting part of it. While most of the participants logged off, six Briarcliff members did not. And according to the letter, quote, suddenly there was the sound of a group of people discussing the meeting while using foul and appropriate language. That included, by the way, racial epithets to describe firefighters and the fire chief from, I believe it was from Goodwill. Those on the call said that it was time to leave the area because black people were moving there. One threatened to physically assault members of Goodwill and another joked about Fanta's name. So that's a lot of awful stuff in just one Zoom call. Yes, I never know what to say about these stories. It's like now you know, and there's just say they what say, my- yeah. I would say just as there should be consequences, you know, I agree that there should be consequences for people who break the law, and for people who went at their job do terrible things that are out of the line, out of line with decency. Um, and I think we should hold cops to a higher standard, firefighters to a higher standard because. They are in the position of representing what we generally take to be, you know, public servants who are out there for what's best for people. And when they prove that they're not, I they don't deserve that job anymore. And they don't, in addition, get to say, well, with all of you guys filming us doing horrible stuff, now no one wants to be a police officer. Maybe none of the bad ones want to be a police mm-hmm. officer anymore. Let's have the good ones go do that job and reward them by paying them better and 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 calling them out when they do a good job. I'm totally not in like the A cab community. I think that if people do a good job being a, a a police officer, we should say great job. And when people do a bad job, we should prosecute if they've broken the law. Yeah. Well. Um, the, the main reason I want to make sure that people knew about this, not just because it's objectively awful, but um, yeah, it's just it's it's bad enough to worry that cops are going to be racist in terms of the actions they take, but also what they choose to do, where they choose to put their efforts, how seriously they take certain types of crimes. When it comes down to the people who might potentially have to save your house, save your family members, do you want to be worried that decisions about what to do, how fast to do it, are going to be influenced by racial animus? Clearly they are being done, but it's just awful to even think about the possibility. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.